In this video we're going to be using Autodesk Inventor to create this 2x1 Lego piece. It's basically going to look like this when you're finished. Do a quick fly around, you can see what's underneath. Not much to it, so let's get into it and start making it. So I'd go to the file menu at the top, start us up a new document, and select the new file. From the uh, dialog box that appears, choose a metric template and a standard millimeter inventor part, and click create. From here we're going to start a 2D sketch and click on the XZ plane, which is the base plane. And we're just going to push that off to the side a little bit. We're going to begin by drawing a 2D rectangle. So grab your rectangle from your ribbon, starting at the origin. We're going to click and drag out. And we want to go up 8 and across 16 and press enter. Once we've got those two dimensions in, then finish the sketch up the top by pressing the green tick. We're going to now extrude this rectangle to make it 3D, and it's going to be a distance of 9 millimeters. And we're left with the basic shape of our Lego brick now. Next thing we want to do is put the two little dimples on top. So we're going to start another 2D sketch. Click on the top face of our brick. And we're going to draw a circle that is 4 millimeters in diameter. Doesn't matter where it goes, as long as it's on that top face somewhere. We're now going to dimension it to get it into position. Okay, so press the dimension button in your ribbon, click on the center point of the circle and then the top edge of the rectangle, come out to the side, click your mouse and type in 4 and press enter. We'll dimension that circle again, so click on the center point and now click the left edge of the rectangle, come up the top, click your mouse and type in 4 and press enter. So we've now got our circle dimensioned appropriately and it's in the right position, this circle. What we'll do now is just repeat it. Okay, and the quick way to do that is use the rectangular pattern tool up here. Okay, so click on the rectangular pattern. For the geometry, we just need to select the shape we want to repeat, so that's the circle. And the direction we want to repeat it in, we we'll have to click this top edge along the top of our shape here. Okay, and at the moment it's sticking it out to the left here, which is not what we want, so we'll flip that around. So flip the direction by pressing those little arrows. And you can see now the preview has the circle coming out to the right, which is what we want. Just a little bit too far out to the right, so this bottom box here, instead of 10 millimeters, make it 8 millimeters for the distance, and you can see that it's now sitting in the correct position. So we'll click OK, and we've now got the two little bumps on top of our Lego piece in the right positions, so we can finish the sketch up the top, and we'll just extrude both of these circles, so choose the extrude option at the top there, Distance will be 1.7 mil, and just click on both of those circles to raise them up. Press OK when you're done. Now the final thing, actually the second last thing we need to do is just hollow out the bottom of our, our Lego brick. In other words, we're going to shell it. OK, so at the top of your ribbon, choose the shell option. Make the thickness 0.8, and click this bottom face. Click OK when you're done, and you can see now you've just shelled or hollowed out your Lego brick. OK, still on this bottom face, you just want to do one final sketch. So start a 2D sketch and put it on this bottom face. And in between these two shelled out circles, we're going to draw a little tube down here. OK, that's just going to help it connect to other Lego bricks. So grab your circle tool. Actually, before you grab the circle tool, we might draw some construction lines to help guide us with this... Um, with this shape. So I'm going to project some geometry first. So grab your project geometry button at the top and just click on that bottom shape. And if you press escape, you'll see some yellow lines have now appeared. We're going to use them as guides to help us with the positioning of our um, final circle. Now I'll grab the line tool and turn on construction lines. And I just want to find the center point of this rectangle. Okay, so when you hover your mouse around the center, you get a little green dot under it. And then you can just click and drag down to the bottom line. And you've now got the center of that rectangle. Still on your line tool, you can just draw a line now coming from one side and going to the other straight through the middle as well, making sure you get those little green circles under your mouse. And what that gives us now is the center point of this rectangle. So we can draw a circle coming out of this center point. So grab your circle tool, turn construction lines off, and clicking on that center point, just click and drag out a distance of 2.4mm for that diameter. 
So you'll have something looking like that when you're done. All right. And if you want, you can finish the sketch, or you can just go through and delete those construction lines. You don't need them anymore. All right. So now I'll finish the sketch. I'll extrude this circle in the middle here, a total distance of 8.2 millimeters, and click OK. You can see that's just put that little solid tube in. It's going to help it connect to other Lego bricks, like I said before. Last thing I'll do is just color this in. Okay, instead of using the appearance browser like we have been using, I'm going to go and use this adjust panel over here. And all you need to do is select your shape, and from the little color wheel you can select a color. Okay, so you can go around the color wheel, playing with colors. If they're a bit too intense, those colors, you can grab this little middle lever and click on slightly lighter colors if you want that aren't so intense. Press the green tick when you're done, and you have your 2x1 Lego brick all drawn up. See you in the next video.